I'm Meg Cabot. I'm here today to tell you about a new project I've been working on, and it's something completely different from any book you might have read from me in the past. No, it doesn't have ghosts or vampires in it, but people do die, and when they do, they end up right here. Okay, well, maybe not here exactly, but a cemetery a lot like it. The truth is, when I was growing up, I loved the story of Hades, the Greek god of death, and how he fell so deeply in love with Persephone, the daughter of the goddess of springtime, that he kidnapped her and bore her down into the underworld, which is where all the souls of the dead get sorted before they pass on to their final destination. I loved this story so much that I used to sit in class in high school and doodle illustrations about it during algebra, which is probably how I got a 410 on my math SATs. But ever since I announced that I actually have a book coming out this spring called Abandon that's based on the love story of Hades and Persephone, only it's been updated. It's a teen version for today's audiences. People have been emailing and Facebooking me nonstop telling me how much they love that story too. Each of the characters in my book have been abandoned in some way. Some of them have even abandoned all hope. But they all end up here, living or dead. In tropical cemeteries, we have to bury our dead in stone crypts above ground, or when there's a hurricane, the coffins will float away. Cemeteries play a huge role in abandon, especially when my heroine, Pierce, ends up in one and finds out that she's the chosen consort of the Lord of the Underworld, who's followed her all the way from her old school back in Connecticut to her new school right here, just where she thought she was safe. I'm very excited about this book, and I hope you are too. I can't wait to share it with you.